Well, hi everyone. Hi Damo and Elk and Michelle. Hi. <laughs> and, and Damo, when um, when Michelle first came to you and, and proposed this film, what, what did you think? It's uh, almost uh, quite the same time with my uh, bio and the biography book. And it, it was so strange, almost the same time came. And uh, I said, I, I, you can make anything you like because it's a uh, uh, Michelle's project. He has this idea and why she cannot make it because she's an artist. And uh, for, for, for me, the, everything is uh, welcome. And uh, But uh, anything really so she can take it uh, really myself. So my uh, personality and the characters in the film, it, it will be good. So not uh, like uh, only surface, you know, so, but in, inside of Damos, what kind yeah. of uh, art he think, think he's thinking or something like this. So, so you know, so, so natural thing and organic thing. So I, I, I was expecting from, uh, from Michelle and uh, I saw Michelle for the first uh, documentation, Mr. Somebody, and uh, yeah, she, she made it so quite interesting for this, uh, uh, how it's a shelter person, and how he's living, and uh, you know, so it's uh, quite interesting thing. So if she could make it uh, like this, and uh, she make it with uh, her art, and uh, I don't take, I don't uh, say so much uh, how it's called. Uh, ideas or something like this, but if uh, this was making own own way, then I accept. So I think <laughs> that. And that was amazing to be able to have my own direction and be able to be really good friends with Demo and Elka and follow them on this journey really organically. Um, and with my first feature documentary, my eccentric character was incredibly demanding and he did actually make me have certain things a certain way, which was mildly stressful. So it was amazing to be with Damo and Elka, who are these really positive, beautiful, natural people that just give out so much love and genuinely trust, you know, everybody they come across. So it was really nice to have their trust in my hands with the camera in their house at a time where they were... I guess the words vulnerable, what, having a camera in front of you is vulnerable. I feel vulnerable just doing this chat on, yeah, on the screen. Yeah. I, think, I, think I told to Michelle that time, so uh, if you can make uh, uh, with this documentary film and uh, in a way so, um, to help some people who has uh, uh, had uh, illness, and uh, losing their hope or something like that through this film so we can share energy. That's why the film is called energy too. Then I, I'm really agree with this one to make it. So this is the important thing to share energy, special moment too. But at that moment too, because I was really almost uh, died and uh, this hard time, so I survived. So I must, uh, it so it uh, could be a, so um, my mission to tell people who is having uh, who is uh, suffering with illness, special cancer like so I had. So if we uh, we can film, uh, we can help these people or uh, uh, give some motivation from this uh, uh, this film. I think it's really good. So that's uh, I think main things. I think. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct, Damo. I did initially begin to make this because I was so traumatized by the death of my friend and he was close friend with Damo and and we just wanted to make something really powerful and positive, positive about the situation because so many people in the world have had cancer and just to make it so positive and involve the music and, and God and everything that's in the documentary um it was really beautiful to create and it grew and and i'm all recovered and it turned into a beautiful like road trip we went on tour and it's re a really in-depth portrait at, at first i thought it would be a short film and it turned out to be 
a five year journey. So, and it was really amazing to share it with these people and so many other people in the world taking me out of my comfort zone. Obviously it will sort of appeal to, to fans of, of Damo and his work, but it's also a film of almost like human achievement in itself, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very human and it's a really beautiful portrait. So yeah. What were the highlights for you, uh, Michelle? What were the highlights of the film for you? Oh my goodness, that's a very good question, isn't it? Um, I think highlight, highlight, not yet again. So if it's finished, it's a really highlight. That, you know something, that will be the highlight. I'll just feel so relaxed and like, I'll just feel so excited to embrace the moment and to share it with everybody. And just like the favorite part for me as a filmmaker is actually the screenings and just being there and watching it in a different way and like taking a big step back. Yeah, that, that's good. You have in the future only good things. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yes, and you guys, because I'd love you you to come as well to as many as possible. The, the, I guess there might be some people listening to this that, that aren't um, aware of your musical philosophy in terms of like the network. And could you just tell us a little bit about that? Like this kind of instant composing, so no plan, no system. So this is really the actual things. Uh, uh, people in the history, music started so without anything, and nobody's commanding you should play like this or so. So I wanted to make this, but before beforehand, I didn't. I done for three or four years, but only with my friend musicians. So if you are friend, you know already and the chemistry. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need kind of really so fresh moment. So you know them. But I wanted to make it every day uh, fresh. Damo, what, what, um, it's a difficult question for Michelle. What do you think of the rough cut of the film? <laughs> what do you think of the film? What do you think of the rough cut of the film that you've seen so far? Uh, I think it's, all, it's okay, but uh, <laughs> yes, I, I think uh, uh, Michelle is quite a perfect, perfectionist. So, so <laughs> He likes to get some many things, <laughs> many things in the film, and uh, that is good. But uh, I think she, she can she will be the artist because she, she don't, doesn't care about the time. So it's uh, it could be done for another ten years or another fifty years. She can take it. This is art. Artists don't care about the time. So like me, so if I start to uh, play in, in one concert or so, we don't stop. How it's possible to stop? Stop mm. then you must be have any kind of answer. But uh, all human beings dream is everlasting. Mm. So long as possible you can live. So why I should stop in the middle middle of the good uh, mood? Why I should stop it? So little artists can not stop. So film could be 100 years old film, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the next generation, your you uh, you children are making the same, same, so uh, continue this film and so on, so on, long, long. So, you know, but this is a really dream if somebody can make it really good. So, you know, because I it's, think if you think, if you, you feel with your heart and you just know when you're performing, when to stop, when it is the right time. Yeah. And I'm almost there. I think in your heart, you know, in this really organic, there's like this, you can't explain it. You just know when when it's done. And um, it's almost there. It's just a few tiny little tweaks and it will be finished. Um, definitely by the end of the year, all the people that backed us will be very happy to know <laughs> that. Um, and it's really wonderful that Damo is so supportive. Um, and he, and he does like the cut and he would be happy if I just released it now. But um, we've had a little bit more archive given. So I want to try and add that and just put a few things at the front of the film just to um, give it a little bit of a boost. And then I think that we're all good to go. When, and when was the last time that you were all together then face to face? Oh, uh, two, uh, one year before. Uh, yes. Okay, can you answer? Yeah, and, uh, I think it was, uh last year in spring in london right oh yeah yeah 
yeah. the pandemic was on the news, but nobody was bothered at that point, <laughs> were they? No. Everyone was making a joke about it. Yeah, nobody was taking it seriously. No, that was not your last. Last was Mannheim. Yeah, but Mannheim. Yeah, last time in England, yeah. Yeah, so we went to Camden, it was lovely in London, and we had a very nice time. Um, I took some cool photographs, which I'm using in the crowdfunding campaign. There's a cool photograph of you and Damo staring at each other in front of the this graffiti art, and people seem to really respond to that. People respond to pictures, really, of you and Damo, on sometimes myself, more than just something more abstract. I guess it's because it's that human connect and people that already love you guys and know you. So I'm going to send you that photograph in the oh, post. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so nice and it'll look lovely for you guys framed in the house. So, Michelle, speaking of photos, how can people get involved then? And what uh, with the, with the crowdfunding project, how can people get involved? Okay, so we've got lots of different perks. If you just want some high energy vibes and just to give us a little donation, it's five pounds. And then if you wanted a beautiful t-shirt that's been designed by Juan Barabani, who is based in Buenos Aires, he is also a sound carrier and he is so talented. Um, he um, designed this t-shirt for us and he did our animation. So we have those. Um, we have a few different designs and I think I'm going to add like a red color because all of the t-shirts are white and maybe people might prefer to wear, like you're wearing red today, aren't you, John? I, <laughs> I think red might be a good buy. What do you think, Damo? And then I took this photograph of Damo in Brighton and this was after he had been in hospital for several weeks. He'd only gone in for a week or two, but it was a long process and it was really amazing. He came back and he just said, yeah, well, it was a long holiday. And just that really positive comeback is just says it all about demo. So this was a really beautiful gig. It's in the film, just like a minute or so uh, with um, strings. And I just found it incredibly emotional and the film was going to end there, but we covered another, I think there's another five more gigs or four more gigs after that. Um, and then the um, q and I'm telling you too much about the documentary. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and then all the beautiful archive that all these kind people have given to me. Some have given me, me the, the um, archive to use for free, which is awesome. And then some of it is uh, to be paid for, which is the reason why we're doing the crowdfunding campaign. So it would be amazing if people can get involved. It's absolutely fantastic. What a fantastic way to spend an afternoon indoors talking to you. Uh, thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Damo. Thanks, Elka.